in the book the prophet the protagonist wants to go to his home his people are calling out for him what is this home his people and journey back home home is where you are outside is where you think you are home is where you are outside is where you think you are do you get the difference you are always in home but there are some people who open their eyes and see that they are always at home and there are some people who are in the home yet they keep sleeping and dreaming that they are somewhere far away and not only are they dreaming that they are somewhere far away they are actually planning of course in their dreams to go further far away that is the home that khalil gibran is talking of where you really are and you can never go away from that home that home is you you are always homed you are always at home there you are you it's impossible to be anywhere else it's just that you don't know that you think you are hmm? what these people call you we'll have to look at this when you say these people it appears as if there are many people at home it's not as if there are many people at home in your dreams in your dreams what you see is many hmm all occurrence of many is a dream there are no many except in dreams to the extent we perceive many people sitting in this room we are dreaming however among these people that you see in your dream some call out after all you only dream of what you know dreams do not come from anywhere else some of these people in your dreams you know them they belong to your past they belong so much to your past that they actually belong to the beginning of time they belong to the source of time itself in that dream also in that dream in that dream you know them because they are your very past <clears throat> your very source in that very dream where there are many people some of these people call out to you they call out to you to wake up have you not noticed and i'm saying something new today that some dreams have the power to wake you up have you not noticed that when you fall down a cliff in your dream you suddenly wake up have you not noticed that that's a very dangerous thing to say because the mind will misuse it the mind will say yes i am dreaming but this is a very useful dream so i don't want to say that but now you have raised it so some of these people they call out in the dream remember they are not really people they are not really people to the extent they are people they are only characters in a dream it's, it's a source manifesting itself in that dream you are the source you are the source and that is why you know those people and that is the only reason why they can be there in the dreams because there is intimacy at a deep level the other people that you know your relation with them is only very superficial but there are these people and your relation with them is very very deep they are coming right from that source from where you come they are identical to you they are just the same to you they call out and they call out in a way in which the dream can be broken that's what he's referring to but in the stream only he talks about many things and he says it most of the work is in 
existential truth in that very moment. Yes. When he is talking of many people? Many people. Yes, of course. You see, this <coughs> many that he is talking of are ultimately coming from his own experience. These people who are calling out, calling him back to home are also coming from his own experience. These people who are calling out to him are nobody else but Khalil Gibran. If they can call out to him, that means he knows. He can surely talk of the existential truths. It's Khalil in his own dream. Are you getting it? It's Khalil in his own dream. The real Khalil in his own dream. And that Khalil will know far more than the dreaming Khalil can know. That is the why... real Khalil can dream. Will go into dream. Yes, of course. That is a part of his freedom. Think of it. Where else can dreams come from? Where else can illusions come from? If there is one reality, one truth, how can there be space for illusion? If everything is just truth, that's what you say. If everything is just truth, just reality, how is illusion possible? But illusion is there. Illusion is there to the elusive mind. Even how can the elusive mind be possible? If only truth is there, how can there be any space for any kind of ignorance? Tell me. Ignorance <coughs> is a part of truth. We are validating it. Of course, you have to. Who are you to not to validate it? Ignorance is the freedom of truth. Truth is so absolutely free that it, it is free even to be ignorant. You are so absolutely free that you are free to wake and also free to 